All right, all right, all right. So, pending a loss in one of these games, I'll be going to change the light bulb in my house. Apparently the light bulb in my washroom went out. And that, I think mainly is because of the fact that right now I'm running all the lights in my house because I have my life set up in a very hmm, unique position compared to most people. Most people want to use as little electricity as possible. For me, I have to ensure that I use at least 1,000 a month. And with using 1,000 a month, I get like a $100 bill credit. Granted, my bill is still around a hundred and something dollars or whatever. Let's powder that. Okay, let's mulligan this. And let's keep the sand. All right, let's get rid of... Oof. Spying glass, I think. But yeah, so because I have my life set up that way, I sometimes have to leave all the lights on in the house just to make sure I get there. And this, my friends, is one of those times. Oof, is this burn? DRC, I can live with that. It's like we had the perfect combination of things to get rid of DRC. Ooh, and we're gonna get Natural Tron to say less. They only played red so far though. Playing only red kind of scares me just a little bit because that means that Blood Moon is definitely there. Or the potential for it is definitely there. It is a burn. I know I kind of say that like I'm surprised, but I kind of am surprised. I guess if you don't consider this burn, what would it be? Oof. Mm, a red aggro? Are they going to use two burn spells to pump that up? Okay. The good thing is we're not going to take damage because of all this. So yeah, us making them waste spells just now, actually pretty great. What is this? Electrostatic infantry, that's a new card. Mutagenic growth, probably times two. Mutagenic growth again. Seven damage. Oh, we. Let's turn off auto yields. Go ahead and go draw something. Wow. I'm very impressed they were able to kill that that quick. They have one card left in hand though. Let's see what we draw into with this first. Four. 
forge. We don't have enough for both. Let's just go with my mankind liberated then and go exile this guy. Definitely outputs a lot more damage without help. Karn could be dead here, but then they'd be down to one or zero cards in hand. I guess they can also put this guy in their hand. Alright, now we can just eat cards from their hand and uh, that should be able to slow them down pretty good. It's just a land card. Nice, let's get this out here. Let's go ahead and exile that. Or we could look for a blast zone. Do we want a bridge? Let's just cast it. Why not, right? Okay, alright, so we're able to get there. Alright, now we know what they're playing. So, let's get that guy in there, let's get that in there, let's get... I'd say two of these guys out. And let's get that out of there. And what else? I know we could put this in. This is obviously a godsend, but we would like to play with Karn. That's a godsend, that's a godsend. We looking, looking, looking. Trading post is actually not too bad here, but it's like if we're relying on trading posts to stay alive, their damage output can go up very, very quickly. Hmm. Thinking here, Karn, 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 Karn. They had a bunch of deprives, right? No, correction. That was my last game. This game is just burn. Okay, so I'm playing against burn. Mutagenic growth is a thing. I want to say I get rid of the last card. And I have to cut one more card. I guess we just go walking ballista. Five expensive cards in hand. Oh no, let's not do walking ballista, let's do bridge. Let's get that in there, that in there. 49 seconds left. Atmosphere is okay, and 40 seconds to go. Let's get a Karn back in there. Well made, Karn Great Creator. Good here. Absolutely nothing. Let's get that in there. That in there. Know that we have Bottle Colister on the sideboard if we need it. All right, that seems good. It's like we can't take all of the relevance away from Karn Great Creator because then it just becomes a dead card for no reason. Unless we start sideboarding some Karn Great Creators out. That's, I think, is also a very valid strategy, but hmm, not one we ascend to very often, I'd say. All right, let's go ahead and keep this. Alright, so it looks like Tron on turn 3. Pending known destruction or exiling of expedition map, that is. 
DRC turn one, so I think DRC is probably their main damage outputter without you know spells to buff it up. We have Blast Stone in the deck, no we do not. Oh, and the Swift Spear as well. They're probably gonna cast a Lightning Bolt here. No Lightning Bolts. Okay, I light up the stage. Yup. Three cards they, is what they had in hand, so they're trying to find outs real quick. Alright, so Tower Power Plant, let's go get a mine. Could play this guy. At least that's what I would do. Electrostatic infantry. I would play. Whoa. Are they gonna light up the stage again? Consider the stage lit, I guess. Magus of the Moon. Ouch. Well, I did say earlier that Blood Moon type effects were definitely a real thing here, so... I guess we cannot be too surprised. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Is that shat? No, okay. I thought it was shattering spree. I was about to say, wow, they are going all out. Alright, so that's already three damage from DRC now because it's a uh, has delirium. Has three, five, nine damage this turn. So I'll be down to three life. In which case, just DRC attacking wins them the game. Next turn. Oh wow, they still have more. Oh wow, I'm dead. Alright, opponent. Oh shoot, they still have more. I think I'll be at negative one, nope, negative two life now. Oof, wow. Ay ay ay, makes this. Trinosphere look really, really amazing though, I must say. Ouch. Okay, let's see. Last game. Alright, definitely do not want to keep this hand. Same for this one. And this one as well. They play a bunch of one cost things and then one two cost thing. That'll help us draw an extra card. We could do Ratchet Bomb. Oof. I think we'll go ahead and keep this. Not the best keep in the world, but at the same time. If we just go on wishing for a bit of hand, we're just putting ourselves in a worse position, I think. I think the best thing we could do here is Ratchet Bomb on one. 
blow up whatever they have out on board at the time. Thankfully, DRC came out. Nice, we end up getting Tron online. Ooh, natural Tron, let's go. So if we're drawn to Karn Liberated or Karn Great Creator now, that would be perfect. They should still end on from playing their Monastery Swift Spear or Soul Scar Mage. Magus of the Moon, though, is still a threat. So, pending seeing a Magus, so we might have to change our tactics. They actually didn't get to three damage this turn. Soul Scar Mage, Lightning Bolts. They're probably. Oh, they actually put the Soul Scar Mage out. Once it gets to the block stage, I'll just go ahead and destroy everything. Magus of the Moon. Hmm. How do we get around Magus now? Let's see. Well, I guess step one, play lands. Step two, fetch lands. Let's get the utility lands in here. If I use Blast Zone now, it's not going to be able to work. Just because it'll come in with no counters on it. So it'll make it a little bit more difficult to have it go off. So let's still go with Relic. And I guess we can wait until they use a lava dart. If they get to that point. So, three damage coming at my face right now. Lightning bolts. Seven damage now. 11 damage now. Okay, I might as well sack this thing to go try to find something because as of right now, we are definitely not in a good position. Karn Silex is potentially very good for us. Means they can't use mutagenic growth as far as paying life for it. I think if they play any spell here we're dead. And that's game. Wow, okay. That's this is always a tough match though. Against the burn deck and they still keep going. Oh, that was the last cards. I guess they could sack both, huh? Come back and deal some more damage. Let's see how far down we go. So that's negative eight. My goodness. And that's all through a Magus Moon. 
I might just have to move him. Okay, pretty good game. Good games. Alright, I'll be back. I'm gonna go change the light bulb.